Hi again, welcome back. Um, Rico GR101, episode 4, baseline parameters. We're going to be uh, looking at the shutter speed and the ISO, and we're going to switch on RAW Plus, and then the camera will be ready uh, for me uh, anyway. Uh, it will be ready to move forward with shooting in one of the more advanced modes aperture priority shutter speed priority or full manual So switch the camera on Right now we're still in program mode and we are only shooting JPEGs the camera's doing most of the work So we're gonna go in and change some of those features now So I'm gonna hit the main menu button down here and uh, Starting over here now, we're on the camera icon, still image settings. This is for photography. So everything else that we don't change right now, focus mode, exposure mode, white balance, all of those things will still be on auto uh, if you haven't uh, changed them. Um, if you remember a couple of videos ago, we reset this camera completely to factory default settings and so most of it is running in auto mode and we have uh, run it in program mode, which is like uh, Yeah, that's a, a, the basic point-and-shoot automatic camera mode. So we're gonna go to page Two in the uh, in the um, camera menu go down to ISO setting and here's where you can choose whether you want a fixed ISO ISO or you want uh, to run it in auto mode so I want auto mode when I shoot in aperture priority or shutter speed priority I want the camera to uh, get almost the best exposure by um, changing the shutter speed or the aperture uh, depending on which mode I'm in and also changing the ISO now I don't want the ISO to get too high 6400 is a little too high for my taste and uh, so I'm gonna go in here now and I'm gonna go up and choose 3200 so we can knock that down a couple of stops or one stop and uh, so now we have auto ISO and it will have a lower limit of 100 and a upper limit of 3200 so it shouldn't go higher than that now minimum shutter speed can also be set here so when you shoot in aperture priority uh, the camera will try to stick to the base ISO of 100 and it will adjust the shutter speed now the sh this camera has IBIS a very very good IBIS and that will um, that's uh, that's stabilization built into the sensor and um, it's very good on a Rico it lets you shoot in low light conditions uh, handheld and uh, you can get some uh, really good shots um, when the IBIS is turned on with this camera and uh, it gives you a sense of confidence so that 1 30th of a second isn't that slow in fact um i like to go down to about one tenth of a second now this does has its com has its consequences if you're shooting in aperture priority mode and uh you're shooting for example with the aperture closed down at say f16 or the light uh the lighting conditions are quite poor then uh it will slow down that shutter speed to gather more light to get that exposure because we're dealing with the exposure triangle now aperture shutter speed and ISO and so when the camera shuts down the uh, uh, when the camera shuts down the aperture or you shut down the aperture and the lighting is poor it will reduce that shutter speed and that will introduce motion blur in your images if there are moving subjects okay so you've got to be aware of that this could be something you actually want for example if you're doing light trails or you want to take a shot of someone in the subway and uh, get the train moving and a person static then a slow shutter speed will be ideal for that effect so 
it's all about um, subjective taste here so let's just turn that on again so we've got those three things set now uh, I find it down there now point it right at the uh, the tabletop you can see it goes to one tenth of a second and the ISO has started to come up and the uh, aperture is wide open now we're still at uh, we're still just shooting JPEGs up here uh, that L tells me that and there's no raw plus so now we're going to go back to the camera menu we're going to go to page 4 file format down there and we're going to change that now to raw plus JPEG so that's that set that means now I will take I will have two images for every shot I take I'll have a JPEG image with the color profile of my choice and I will have a raw file. The raw file will contain the color profile as a kind of preview image embedded in the raw file, but the raw file will uh, contain just all the raw data from the sensor. That means if you shoot in black and white, you will have a black and white preview image embedded in a color raw file. And when you open uh, in something like Lightroom, if you look at uh, like a bunch of files in the uh, library, you'll see the preview but once you open it in developer mode it will uh, it will switch to the raw uh, the actual raw image and you'll see the color of the raw file and uh, the black and white pre preview will probably be gone aspect ratio just below that three to two that's the uh, that's the aspect ratio of this particular uh, sensor and uh, you want to leave that where it is unless you want to start shooting square images you can do and you can also crop images later in raw development well that's the camera now set up and it's ready for the next video and uh, and we'll be looking at aperture priority and um, how we start using that so those are my baseline settings and i'll see you in the next video bye for now